All right, y'all, so here we are with a little mini lecture on moral reasoning and philosophical arguments. This is one that goes along with Russ Schaefer Landau's The Fundamentals of Ethics. So for any of you who are using that book, this little mini lecture comes from there. So moral reasoning is about offering and evaluating reasons that are meant to support moral conclusions. Moral reasoning at its least involves a set of reasons and a conclusion that those reasons are meant to support. That's also called a philosophical argument. So a philosophical argument consists of a set of reasons, which are called premises, that are intended to support a given conclusion. Good arguments must avoid both false premises and bad reasoning or poor reasoning. So when we're considering these different moral theories, what we need to do is we need to remember that moral thinking should have two goals. First, we need to get it right, so we need to be correct. And second, we need to back up our views with flawless reasoning. So what we need to do is we need to avoid false beliefs and we need to make sure that the logic of our moral thinking is rigorous and error free. So what we need to do is we need to test these different arguments by asking ourselves, does the argument avoid false beliefs? And is the logic of the argument error free? Or are there any fallacies in the argument? Now remember that a fallacy, that's just the word that we use in philosophy for error or mistake in reasoning. So with those two tests, the first one on avoiding false beliefs, how do we do that? We need to fact check. You need to check the information to make sure that it's true. Um, take a look at what evidence is cited. So those reasons shouldn't just be reasons that you automatically believe. There should be some kind of evidence that's given to support those reasons. So what is that evidence? Um, where is it cited? Who or what are the sources? How many are the sources credible? Make sure that you have reliable information and consider any bias that might go into those sources. The next part, considering the logic of the argument. This is the part that the next couple of videos after this will have to do with. The logic of an argument is a matter of how the argument's premises, the reasons, are related to the argument's conclusion. So again, when we consider the logic of an argument, the logic of an argument is a matter of how its premises, the reasons, are related to the conclusion of the argument. It's about that relationship between the two. Okay, so in this very, very short little bitty mini lecture, we just went over this overview of moral reasoning and philosophical arguments, what moral reasoning is, the two goals that we should have when we're involved in moral thinking of getting it right and backing up our views with flawless reasoning. And then we looked at the fact that we need to have arguments that avoid false beliefs and that have logic that is error free or that avoids committing fallacies. Check back for videos specifically about fallacies. We'll talk about formal fallacies and we'll talk about informal fallacies. Alrighty, I hope this was helpful. Thanks everybody. Have a great day.